Um, my name is Sylvia and I'm a freelance translator working for Warhorse Studios. I translate video games from English to German and here are some games I've worked on. Uh, Dex, this is a cyberpunk RPG that plays in a dystopian future. A strategy game called Infinitum, Battle for Europe. And right now I'm working on Kingdom Come Deliverance, which is a medieval RPG. You might have heard of that one. Um, right. When I started out, I basically had no experience as a translator and DEX was my first project. And through networking and portfolio building, I managed to land a big contract within a year, Kingdom Come Deliverance, which is yeah, a 10 million budget game. Uh, I was pretty successful on Kickstarter too. And well, now I'm going to tell you some basics about portfolio building and networking. Right, before you start building a portfolio and a network, um, it's very important to have a clear goal. You have to ask yourself a few questions. Which job do I want? At which company? Where is it located? And which skills will I need? So you have to know what you want to achieve. Um, it's very important to aim high. Um, if you want to work for a studio that makes cool games, this is, yeah, this should be a goal and nothing less. <clears throat> and yeah, if you want a job you love, you have to strive for that. Um, but keep in mind that uh, a big company like, for example, CD Projekt Red won't hire you right from university. So you have to work a lot, you have to climb the ladder, okay, before you can achieve that. You have to gain experience, confidence, yeah, build a network, refine your skills, and okay. Um, now that we know what we want, the question is how do we actually get it, um, especially uh, when you're a student? How do we actually get hired by a big and nice company? Well, the first thing um, you should do is reading job ads. Um, you should read a lot of job ads for the position you want to get uh, to find out which skills you need, no matter for which company you work for. Uh, then you should make a list with these skills and the second thing you have to do is read a lot of job ads of the company you want to work for. Find out if they have company specific requirements. Um, so let's say you want to become a character artist at Blizzard Entertainment. Read tons of job ads for character artists, okay? And make a list here. And then read all job ads of Blizzard. So some companies even offer guidelines if they have uh, specific requirements. <clears throat> and yeah, once you have these two lists ready, uh, you can take the next step. And that is <laughs> building a portfolio that meets these requirements. You have to hit the nail with the, on the head. <laughs> So if you're still studying, uh, try to do as many things uh, on these two lists as possible. But keep in mind that the first list is the more important one because it will yeah, get you your first job. And don't try to be good at everything. Try to be specific, specialize in, in one field. Um, yeah, you, Practically, you don't want to be the person who's okayish at 20 things, but yeah, you want to be a, a specialist. That doesn't mean uh, that you shouldn't have additional skills, like um, yeah, promote yourself as a character artist who did some textures maybe for a student project, who has a little bit of experience in Blender, Maya, but don't tell everyone that you're good at everything. <laughs> Okay, that won't work. No one will believe it. 
So be very specific. Um, once you have your portfolio ready, uh, put it online. LinkedIn is a must here, but uh, try to use other platforms as well. Uh, you can even yeah, create your own website. And again, be very specific, only show your best pieces. Don't add yeah, just any random things to fill it up. It's, it's better to have less pieces that are good than uh, yeah, a ton of generic stuff. Um, another important thing is uh, to create an offline version as well. That's very important if you're attending um, conferences. So for example, if you meet someone and uh, that person wants to see your portfolio, um, it should work offline in case the Wi-Fi is not working. <laughs> Otherwise, you're pretty screwed. Um, and try to have it ready at one click. Okay, no searching or stuff like that. Oh. Still? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Works again. Um, once uh, you have your portfolio ready, it's time to start networking. Networking means to build a web of relationship with other people. These can be personal or professional relationships, but uh, in this case, we are talking about the latter. Um, yeah, but with some people, you also establish hybrid relationships or you might even become friends. Um, be careful though how you approach people when you meet them uh, the first time. Don't be like, hey, Paul, what's up? How are you doing? Try to be friendly. <laughs> um, and in case of doubt, be too formal than vice versa. <laughs> okay? Um, that doesn't mean that you should only talk about business. Um, just socialize with people. Talk about your goals, your hobbies, games. Games are a perfect topic to start a conversation, of course. And yeah, help other people. Give them advice, recommend them, give them some tips and yeah, they'll remember it. So maybe they will recommend you in the future. And of course, at the beginning, it's difficult to build a network, but think of it like a snowball. At first, it's very small, it rolls very slow, but when it grows, it gets bigger, bigger and pretty fast and it's rolling faster and faster. So yeah, it's getting easier. Even if it's hard at the beginning, believe me, it's getting easier. And uh, there's one crucial thing you need for networking, business cards. <laughs> um, they are a must have for conferences. <coughs> Who's got a business card here? Hands up. Nice, very good. Awesome, <laughs> great. <laughs> um, always have them at hand. And there are a few things that have to be on every business card. Um, your name. <laughs> Don't laugh, I've got business cards without names on it. <laughs> it has happened. Uh, your LinkedIn page or website, um, your email address, and your occupation. <laughs> uh, I've, yeah, over the years I got a lot of funny business cards, but also a lot of bad ones that didn't have all these things on them. The best one was, um, it just had a logo on it. No name, no, yeah, no name of the studio, nothing, just a picture. <coughs> Pretty pointless, actually. So try not to be one of these people. Um, yeah, once you have your business cards ready, uh, it's time to attend some conferences. So you did something right here because you're here today. And uh, yeah, a gaming conference is the perfect place to make connections, to talk to people, maybe even to employees of the company you want to work for. But uh, do some research before you buy a ticket. Know your target audience and your goals. Uh, try to find out what the conference is about and who's attending it. Developers, indies, gamers, journalists. Uh, 
yeah and also it's very important to know uh, if the conference is international or not um, I for example I mainly target um, studios and developers from Eastern Europe so I mainly attend conferences in Prague and Poland um, so always check beforehand who's attending a conference and yeah, there are some uh, conferences who are for industry people only. Some are only targeted at gamers. And be sure you know which one is best for you. In case of doubt, I recommend going to Gamescom because there are visitors from all over the world, indies, big studios, press, people, basically everyone and uh, set yourself realistic goals before you go to a company because some um, find it easier to make connections and to meet new people than others so don't put too much pressure on yourself and yeah thanks to the internet we can also make connections online like on linkedin for example um, who's on linkedin hands up again Okay, awesome, great. <laughs> uh, for those who might not know it, um, yeah, it's some kind of uh, professional social media platform uh, to make business connections. So like Facebook for business purposes, something like that. And there are some basic rules for LinkedIn. Only add relevant information. Again, you have to know your goals. What do you want to achieve? Get a job? Meet other developers? Uh, what's your flagship skill or attribute? And who's your target group? Recruiters? Other indies? Um, you're basically creating your profile for these people, so always keep that in mind. Uh, another thing is being concise, meaning short and precise. Use simple grammar structures and short sentences. So even if you're a skilled writer, uh, show off your skills in your portfolio, not your profile. Recruiters don't have the time to read, I don't know, <laughs> sentences that are, that are so long. Use bullet points, for example, because the most important information should be visible at one glance. And remember, quality beats quantity, always. <laughs> So it's, it's better to show less things that are good than a lot of stuff that's just generic or maybe even bad. <clears throat> Another important thing is being clearly identifiable. Um, when you're searching for someone, it's important that you know who that person is. It will happen that some people have the same name. So use a photograph, a recent one, and uh, descriptions that clearly identify you as you. And English only, that's very important because you want to be international, so don't use German. <laughs> Just don't. And, and proofread it, have it proofread by somebody else. No typos. <laughs> and be honest. It's good to uh, yeah, present yourself in a positive light but don't lie, people will find out eventually. And uh, for those who are on LinkedIn already, if you're working on your profile, uh, turn off the activity broadcast, because otherwise you're spamming other people with yeah, annoying news, and uh, customize your <laughs> URL. Okay, let's summarize what we've learned. The most important thing is to have a clear goal, something you want to achieve then you do a lot of research. The more you know, the better you can prepare. Then uh, you have to acquire the necessary skills and tools. And once you're ready, show yourself, step into the light, show people who you are and what you can do and connect with them. Right, that's basically it. Thanks for your attention. And um, yeah, at the bottom corner, you find a website that has a list of gaming conferences from all over the world, so check it out. And add me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Skype, whatever. So, thank you.